Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. It took a lot of faith and patience. Just thank you. I'm just ready. Just keep going, Papa. God bless you. So, guys, today's scripture will be from Luke 22. And Luke 22, verse 19. Heavenly Father, I thank you, our Father who are in heaven. Yes, our Father who are in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. <laughs> That kingdom come. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Okay. Food that says I love you. So today's daily devotional says food that says I love you. So I will be reading from Luke 22 verse 19, which is Jesus institutes the Lord's Supper. So the question says, what is a food, a favorite food that you use in celebration? How can you thank God as you enjoy food today? What is the favorite food that you use in a celebration? How can you thank God as you enjoy food today? So Luke 22 verse 19 says and he took bread gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them saying this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me so one food we talk about daily is holy communion i personally like to have holy communion every single day it keeps me in the holy spirit as much as possible i like being surrounded by angels as less profanity as possible i don't like being around everybody um that's too much information. Sorry. The food that says I love you. Holy communion. Holy communion is the best food to have every single day. Every single day. And as a called prophet or chosen one of the Lord, it's pretty important for me to have holy communion every single day. It keeps me spiritually aligned in the Lord. Whenever and, and prayer, Holy Communion and prayer. Sometimes I'm just our Father who are in heaven, hallowed it be thy name, just to stay in the Holy Spirit. Or you could speak tongues, however you, whatever you say, whatever the Holy Spirit pushes you to say in the Spirit. Hallelujah. So that's the food for me. That's a celebration. The Lord says do it, as, do it as often or as much as you think of him. So if you're thinking about him, Lord, give me this. Lord, give me this. It should be thank you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I take this Holy Communion. How can you thank God as you enjoy food today? Well, you have to remember everybody doesn't get a meal. Everybody doesn't get to eat every day. Plenty of times because of how the Lord is leading me, I missed out on meals within these last few years alone. Okay? And so, and that's just because of my walk with the Lord and how he leading me. Majority of the times I have it, but if I don't have it, he still provides. <laughs> Whether my parents say no or somebody, he brings a stranger up to me and they give me $10. Like God always provides for me. Miraculous ways. Miraculous ways. So I'm sorry. My, my videos are off because my mom is around and she does not believe in this ministry or what God is doing in my life. And so it knocks off my spirit 
because of her in negative energy. So I'm going everywhere on this video, which is fine. I just go into the next devotion because that's kind of what the Lord want to speak on. The dream team. Oh, yeah, she pissed. She like, you pregnant? How you supposed to be a prophet and you pregnant? And all kind of stuff. Like, we got into it. Like, she was like, I'm not going to respect you. I'm not going to respect you. Like, she just, just horrible, horrible. And then recognize the Holy Spirit or not around me. No. It's the same Lord. Sorry. I'm off a little bit. Romans 10 verse 81. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, so if I'm not no prophet, what happened to prophetess? What happened to Bishop T.D. Jess? What happened to all of them? They here spiritually watching us. You crazy. You crazy. Ain't nobody watching us. Anybody? I said, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I, I know it's about to happen though. That's normally when I when I get these attacks like that. Something good can is gonna happen to me today. So this is the next daily devotional, Romans 12, verse 5. Romans 12, verse 5. Yes, there's so much added stress living in this house. Like, it's just horrible sometimes. It's only like this when she in the house. I promise y'all, when she not here, it be peaceful. But it's not my house either way, so. But it just goes to show you, it's not me. <laughs> Praise God. Nonetheless, I found in Romans 12, verse 5. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy. And this is so funny. This is the Lord speaking to her. But then she lie and say she don't watch my videos. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith, our ministry. Let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with difference, he who, who, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. What gifts and abilities has God given you? How can you share them with those around you? Okay, so this is good. This comes on right on time. So for me, my gift is in the prophetic, it's in healing and deliverance, it's in prayer. Now for me, the most part, my gift is in prayer and healing and deliverance. And in prayer, or if the Lord is really trying to say what he wants to say, then I'll prophesy. But for the most part, I prophesy in prayer. I have to pray first and then the Lord will speak to me and say what he wants me to say. Now, for example, again, my I just got into this big old, like we had a huge argument because she, she's saying, I'm crazy. I caught myself. Mom, this is my mom speaking. She says, I'm crazy. I caught myself. I'm not chosen. I'm not a prophet. Like she's just speaking the opposite of what the Lord is saying over my life. It doesn't matter that this ministry started over two years ago. The evidence that's real through people's healing, deliverance, through people's testimony, it doesn't matter to her. But when she leaves from around me, she wants to be open arms and receive the same God through somebody else. You can't do that. You can't not like somebody, don't want to receive them, and then try to go to another pastor, and it's the same God that's using me, that's using them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
one of the things I prayed for was that my grace and mercy no longer reaches her. And Phoenix is, because Phoenix has a lot of grace and mercy on her. That girl is gifted. So I prayed that because she don't believe in me or believe in how the Lord is using me, that my child in me, she doesn't benefit from. Yeah, I'm not going to know. I'm going to because I know the Lord. He's still in love. He still moves in love. So I'm going to pray that she doesn't get any benefits because she doesn't believe in what the Lord is doing for me. So if people around you don't believe, then you can't help them. You can't help somebody that doesn't believe in, in you. And then God supporting you. Because that's what that's what this argument is at the end of the day. She doesn't believe that God is using me. And she doesn't believe that God is supporting me the way he's the way he's using me. Now to her, I don't know what she's thinking. I can't, I'm not her, but I could just tell you what we went through. And so the next question says, How can you share them with those around you? I have an online ministry. This is how I share it because I don't, unless the Lord, um, I have somewhere to go. I'm out in public. That's the only way people will take to me, but that's okay because in Jesus hometown, his people didn't receive him. So that's just the Lord confirming that I'm aligned with him. The more and more I look like the Lord, unfortunately, the less I get like, so it's fine. The press says, Father, please show me how I can use my resources and abilities to benefit the body of Christ. So you just want to ask the Lord to let the Holy Spirit fill you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Excuse me. You just want to, you just want to allow the Lord to, to speak to you. See, the thing is, you always got to do a self-check within yourself. Is there anything stopping me from receiving from the Lord? Whether it's through his prophets, whether it's through someone I don't like. What is it? Lord, help me change that. And then you ask the Lord to help you receive from the prophets around you. Okay, and if you're the opposite... You can't share. You, we don't force God on nobody. We don't force ourselves on nobody. And we don't force. But you're going to respect me. You're not going to sit up here and tell me I'm not no prophet or I'm not called. And you just disrespecting me, calling me a liar. Because I know that those are demons talking to me. I'm not going to let them demons come through you. And they can't go through nobody else and talk to me like that. You got to respect prophets, whether you believe that they're a prophet or not, because God will vindicate me because I'm in obedience. I'm doing what he said and you got a problem with it. Praise God. Even so, so for me, this, she been doing this crap since God called me. So I'm kind of used to it, but it's like, dang, after everything you done saw, after every evidence, like God done did stuff to show you he calling me and using me and you just in denial. Mm -mm. You don't need to receive no blessings from God. You need to receive spiritual discernment. So, you know, when you have a true prophet and a false prophet and you're not calling no real prophet like me, a fake prophet. I pray I have a blessed day. Okay. Shalom.